Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Bring your documents to life and learn the secrets of embedding PDF files into your Squarespace website. Share resources, guides or portfolios seamlessly with your visitors. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, at first, sharing a PDF in your website might look impossible, but with this guide, everything is going to be and will be possible. So the first thing that I will need you to do is to simply open your Squarespace website. Make sure that you are connected to it, and here it is mine, so I have opened it, let's go for example to the main page. So here, there is so many ways to actually link your PDF file, for example for me, I have this PDF, for example, which is a course that I study at school, basically. So let's say that I want to share it in my website. What I'm going to do basically is to click on edit first so I can be able to manage and edit my website in each section by its own. So here what I'm going to do is to simply choose where I want this PDF to be linked, so for example, between these two sections, and I'm going to click on add new section. Here, they will give you a lot of things that can be very helpful. For example, if you want to add this to product or something like that, or just a shortcut as a design. So we can choose here, we, w we would like to add something like audio or videos, uh, portfolios. Yeah, the portfolio seems nice. All right, let's go with it. And here, let's choose this thing right here i think or whatever we would like to for example let's go yeah let's go with this one and here in edit section we would like to add and basically in this section itself we can add blocks in these blocks we have here as you can see a uh, text image video button audio form accordion etc etc here shape line map and finally here we have image so basically i'm going to click here and what we are going to do is to add an embed code. So here, as you can see, you can simply add the link of the file. So it has to be like a file in here. So we can add like a custom featured image. Let's add here upload file. Um, let's add, for example, this image. And let's try to move it, to move it around. So here we go. I'm going to add it right here. Let's put it exactly here, and what I'm going to do with it is just simply uh, make sure it is in the center. And here we should add the, uh, the link of the PDF file. So for me, I have it on my PC and it couldn't be added. So let's search for a down the PDF file, PDF page, uh, PDF, or we can just go for Google Smart Search. Uh, here we go, advanced search I think, advanced search, yep, here we go, and here we're going to search for example for a PDF file, so I'm going here by file, search by file, and let's click on advanced search, as you can see right here, um, I guess because we didn't give a title, so let's give here school, and I guess this one will work, yep, so now this is a PDF file, so you can simply just copy the link, uh, they will be searching for it successfully located and as you can see here they have added the link so the image sounds a bit so big so I'm going to remove it and here it is so just like that we have added like a PDF file that we can add to our website without any problem so now as you can see we can save it and once we saved the file we can simply now just go ahead and go to the exit so we can open the website by our own and normally here it should appear so we just have to wait uh, it's not loaded at the moment and here it is it's getting bigger okay maybe the layout is actually hiding it so let's remove these let's remove this one so remove yes remove the block let's remove this as well I'm trying to select this block of clients without selecting the PDF itself. So here we go, let's remove this. And here we can simply add the PDF. So successfully generated. And now let's save it. 
and as you can see I can literally go around with this PDF and I can scroll all the way down I can even like choose to click in the corner and open it in another page so this is a very very useful trick to actually embed any kind of PDF files or any file it could be literally any file not only PDF files uh, the only problem here is it could take a lot of time to load since for example here for me I have eight different uh, PDF pages that I can add to my website so here for example I have a different pages with a lot of details a lot of text a lot of images a lot of colors and this can literally take a uh, like dozen of times to actually load in my web page and maybe it could be because of the cookies because of the hardware accelerator of my browser but this is generally the way that people actually try to add the actual PDF to their website so here as i said once more we can go through it once more so what i did basically is to simply click on websites go to the edit button and right after we chosen the edit button we just have to choose an area where we want to add our pdf file so here we just have to add a section or even add it to an already existed section so i'm just going to add it right here choose here any kind of style it could be a blank style or just one of the styles that they have given to us so here we are going to choose portfolios as our style so there we go we can choose for example this one and we will start removing these layers because we don't need them so we don't they don't really hide our portfolio from showing up in the screen so there we go let's remove that as well remove this one and let's remove all of these different kind of layers as well so let's remove these and simply now what we should do is to add a new block once more so add a new blog you can find embed here if you didn't search for it and you will find it 100 percent and there we go make sure to search for the link of your pdf file which will be located normally in a real domain name it shouldn't be your local host or your pc link or something like that as mine this is a no what you should go for is this one this one is the thing that will probably work 100 percent for your website in general so let's copy it then go here click on edit after you do so simply just click here and simply copy paste the link and here it is you just have to wait a little bit and it will load right in front of us so this is basically the way to generate your pdf files inside of your website the only problem in case that pdf was too big it won't load normally so it should be just one page pdf to actually load and yeah guys that was it for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if there is any mistake or problems that you face make sure to leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial